because Patrick is a, a unique character. Uh, he's very generous, he's very open, he's very curious in the sense that he wants to know what's going on rather than being a curious individual, but he is that as well. Um, but more than anything, I think he's inspiring and extremely funny. He doesn't fit into any kind of category or box or, or description. Um, he breaks the mould and um, that's what he does, that's how he is and uh, that's what we all love about him. As far as I'm concerned, as a conference organiser, I'm involved in how to improve the performance of the company. I'm involved in discovering how to increase um, employment. I'm, I'm involved in how to have knowledge exchange and maybe cure a disease. That's a great privilege. So I'm not involved in logistics. I'm involved in bringing people together so knowledge can be exchanged. That, that's a pretty motivating career. And I'm, you know, I just, I'm amazed that other people are looking at it as a tactical um, solution. It's, it's a great privilege. Well, for the last 12 years, he's been the chair of our judges and the moderator for our Best Marketing Award. It's a plenary session that takes place annually at our Congress, uh, and the finalists actually compete with each other to present their marketing. Uh, one year, we had the Kuala Lumpur Convention Center in the final uh, with a Batik Sarong tie-up campaign. Uh, and as always, we tested all the tech. Everything worked for perfectly. It was run through five, ten times. And on the night, the entire system crashed in the middle of their presentation. So Patrick went on stage and for ten minutes gave a striptease sarong demonstration to 800 people while the techies were running around rebooting the entire system and then carried on without even the remotest hint of, of being flustered. So inspiring, but incredibly funny. Patrick very much deserves to be a member of the Hall of Leaders. His dedication to the industry over many years, over many decades, is known throughout the world. He's travelled the world, he's, he's taken education with him, he's been a, a very much coveted speaker for very many years. And he's done it in such a way that he's been so well received because of the generous person that Patrick is that he's always been very much desired by the various destinations to come and visit. Through that, he's been able to make a huge contribution in the spread of the knowledge of this industry. And he's done it in a very generous way. He fell in love with his goals and he stayed in love with his goals and his purpose. And not everyone does that. Sometimes people fall off and quit. And he's a person who, in all of his various roles through his tourist board role, his destination management company roles, and now he's in a marketing role. Always was in love with what he was doing. And I think that's how you accomplish great things. You stay determined, you stay focused, and that's what I've seen him do. So that's why I think he deserves it, because he stayed steady and he had a goal, and he's achieved those goals in whatever he's done. I think he's one of the most kind, loving people um, I've ever come across and that's not just in relation to the people that love him and are, the, are kind to him it's in relation to how he looks at people in general and how he lives his life and I know that's an important thing to him um, at the level of, of belief and faith but it's a key element in, in, in how he goes about being Patrick Delaney. Patrick has a generosity of spirit and anybody who has met him within this industry over the years, everybody he's touched will always remember that and remember Patrick. You know, Patrick gets across this idea that when we get together, we don't just do business with each other, we really get to know each other. We make friends, we build connections that last way beyond the business cycle. Uh, and I think for that reason alone, he should be in there as an inspiration for people to understand that our business goes far beyond the transactional. When he travels, he likes to actually bring home something from the country that he's been to. And he must have been to 100 countries at this stage as a result of being in the wonderful meetings industry that we're part of. And uh, he has brought home a lot of stuff, um, including during one trip that we took together, a full-sized door, which was, I think, a article of uh, antiquity in Malaysia that he paid very little money for, but he had a vision for where this door would fit um, in his home. He didn't have any vision as to how it was going to fit through the x-ray machine 
in the different airports that we were going to have to go through in order to get home. But he is such a wonderful personality that he managed to talk his way through each of the security points in probably three different countries that we had to actually hop, skip and jump through on our way home in order to get that door. And he arrived at home uh, with the door intact. And it is there for all to see at his home in, uh, in Fox Rock in Dublin. Patrick's made a, a lasting contribution to the industry in various ways. First of all, he created a global group of destination management companies, Ovation, which was unique at the time as well, and in many ways still is. And also Patrick has a great depth and wealth of knowledge, and he's travelled the world sharing this knowledge. And he's done it in such a way that he's made a great contribution to our industry, and has imparted this knowledge, which has broadened the industry on a global basis. And I'm so, so pleased with that, genuinely, really, really honoured and very, very happy to be an inductee. Well, it was easy for me to see that he would be honoured because I think he holds dear two characteristics that I think are essential in leadership. And one is grit, and that's passion and perseverance combined. And he is a gritty person. He gets things done, he's determined, he still has fun doing it, as I talked about earlier. And the second is he has a heart of gratitude. He has always been thankful for the people around him who've helped him, enabled him to get where he is today. So those are the two things that I really think are important and I think that he, had, he holds those characteristics. It means a huge amount to Patrick to receive this honor because I think it's, it's one of the ultimate honors within the meetings industry. It's, it's, like, it's like receiving an Oscar. You know, this is the Oscar that Patrick is finally getting for the contribution that he's made to the industry over many, many years. I'm particularly um, humbled, and that sounds as if it's a cliche, and I don't mean it to be a cliche, to be recognized by the Hall of Leaders because um, the CIC is, is the, you know, the, the premier um, overarching body for our industry, um, full of fully developed personalities. And I know how difficult it is for any of the associations to agree on anything. So to get across the board recognition, that must mean that in some, um, some vague way, I've either confused everybody or else I've actually been able to bring some value to the associations that I have been active in. And I've been very privileged to be involved in associations. Again, it's something that I learned. You know, people think, oh, associations, you know, you have to put in so much effort. I can say categorically without fear that I have learned more from associations that have been critical to my personal development, to my professional development, and I've gotten more than I've ever put in.